You're watching Fox 23 News at 9. We tell you about it, synthetic drugs, they're dangerous and cause unpredictable behavior like that that's seen in this military public service announcement video. Reports are out and the military, specifically the Navy one, do you understand, has a problem with bath salts. Yeah, Fox 23's Danica Lawrence joins us now with how the Tulsa County Courthouse handles military drug abuse, Danica. Yes, Clay and Shara, the courts are now able to test for synthetic drugs, something that was not possible before. So that meant addicts could snort or shoot or smoke synthetics and get away with it. Watch the sailor snort this white powder. The United States Navy shows us from a sailor's perspective how he is destroying his body and his mind using bath salts, a synthetic drug. Some people describe people spying on them, trying to kill them and their families. Other people talk about seeing demons. A Naval Medical Center psychiatry resident, Dr. Lieutenant George Loeffler, has seen sailors experimenting with these synthetic drugs. The punishment for using a bath salt or spice, a synthetic marijuana, can be more severe than getting caught smoking standard grade pot. And that's according to the Air Force. It's in all branches. Confident they aren't the only branch that's seeing this issue. Tulsa District Court Judge Rebecca Nightingale rules on Tulsa's Veterans Treatment Court. Synthetic drugs are increasing in number in all the alternative courts. They are increasing in number in vet court. We know that. We are testing for it. That's how she plans to stop the dangerous effects of synthetic drugs, testing for it. If you're in the military and you're using it and you're a trained infantryman or something of that nature where you regularly use weapons, and you've got very erratic behavior, that's a combination we really can't afford to have. In the last few months, the vet court has been able to detect synthetics in samples sent to its lab. Before that, no one could find a way to trace synthetics. Judge Nightingale believes that is why there has been an increase in military members using it. It was not traceable. Now she's hoping military members learn if they use, she will rule. I called a few Navy recruiting centers to get a sailor's perspective on synthetic drug use in the military. My calls were unanswered, but over the phone, I talked with a friend who is in the Navy in San Diego, and he admits he has seen sailors smoking synthetic drugs on his ship. So you know it's there. Danica Lawrence, Fox 23 News. All right, Danica, thank you. And over the course of a couple of years, Oklahoma lawmakers banned more than 250 chemicals used to make synthetic drugs. Problem is, as soon as they were banned, designer drug makers switched to different chemicals.